Hi, this is Liam with StrongPoint. I'm going to be showing you three ways to identify the downstream risk of any change, or in other words, how to uncover how your customizations fit together so you can customize as quickly and as safely as possible. And each of the three ways is going to cater to a slightly different use case. So let's say someone comes to you and says, I want to make a change to an entity field, and it's called set customer credit on hold. So if I know that that entity field lives on the customer record, I'm going to go into Flashlight Tools ERD, which is where we are here, and open up that customer record. Now all the objects that live on that customer record are populated, so I'm going to scroll down to the set customer credit on hold entity field and click on it, and I'll see everything that it's connected to pop out the side. So I can tell that it's only connected to one workflow, and now I know two things. Number one, this is a technically risky change. If I'm gonna change this entity field, I'm gonna to have to do some testing in Sandbox, maybe tinker with the workflow to make sure I'm not gonna break it. And number two, if I click on this workflow, I'll also see what's connected to it. And nothing popped out the side of this workflow when I clicked on it, so I can tell that the, the downstream impact of changing this customer credit on hold field stops with this workflow. That workflow is not connected to anything else that I need to be aware of when I'm changing this field. Scenario number two would be that I don't know which record this field lives on. Maybe I've gotten the request to change the entity field. I know the name of the entity field, but I can't remember which record it lives on, and I don't want to have to go back to the user to ask where it is. So in that case, I would go into Flashlight. Instead of on Tools, I'll go to Customizations, Customization Impact Analysis, and search for the name of that field. So we'll search Set Customer. I know it's an entity field, so I can filter by the type and search. And now I've found the search, set customer credit on hold entity field. I can see the type, the parent, where that record lives, the script ID, and anything that it's connected to. So it's connected to a bundle, and here's the workflow that it's connected to as well. If I wanted to open up the customization record for that entity field, I'd also be able to see things like who the owner is and when it was last modified. If there was any scripting attached to it, that would be on the raw data field. And if I did want to go to that visual ERD view, there's a quick link to it and that'll show up right here. So again, I could do that verification of downstream risk by clicking on the workflow and verifying that it's not connected to anything else. Method number three is usually used if you're doing something like removing a bundle and you want to see everything that is connected to that bundle in your system. So in that case, you would open up the customization list and you can find that under flashlight, customizations, customization list, and it's going to pull up every customization in your NetSuite. So if I wanted to find the objects connected to any bundle, I would pop open the filters and type in the bundle ID. And then I'm left with just the 10 objects that would be affected if I actually pull that bundle out of NetSuite. So these are the three ways to identify the impact of any proposed change really, really quickly right within NetSuite. So you don't need to rely on any external notes or your own memory. And if you have any questions about these methods or anything else with Flashlight, send us an email to flashlight at strongpoint.io. Thanks for watching. I hope this was helpful.